Good evening to everyone, or good afternoon, depending on who's watching. Who got any loan on your mama didn't have to go to the phone sales. By that, I'm welcoming everyone who's watching, and I would like you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also follow me on Twitter at GagenM. And those who want to contact me, you they use my email and number in my website at Gagen. My website is GagenHabalShop.co.za. GagenHabalShop.co.za. Yes. Okay. Let's begin. This is the making of African beer, and I'm going to simplify it uh, as easy as possible. I know some people use different ingredients, but uh, we come from different backgrounds, hence the different uh, ingredients. So if you're going to be drinking that African beer on a Saturday, uh, I, I would like you to start five days prior, which is on a Tuesday. If you're going to be drinking that African beer on a Sunday, then you start on a Wednesday. There has to be at least four, five day difference, four, di four day difference. So now, Tuesday, what you need? You need firstly to boil water in a pot, preferably outside, but you can do it on the stove uh, given the circumstances, if you live in a flat or whatever. But if it's possible for you to use a bush baby, those pots outside, those traditional pots, you can boil that water in that pot outside. You don't boil using a kettle. So now, we have boiled this water. Then what you do, you mix that water with cold water. We need lukewarm water. So now you have this lukewarm water. What you need then is a one kg of maize meal. And secondly, your maize meal shouldn't be white star because white star is too soft and too white. You need a maize meal, those old school maize meal, Impala, Bluebird, you need Ace. Uh, in Joburg, I think, or Pretoria, I've seen a sun maize meal, yes. So now, you need a one kg maize meal, you need a, a, a one kg of king corn, you take that king corn and that maize meal, you mix them together and in a 20 liter bucket. Yeah. Then you stir them, you mix them together. Once they are mixed, you pour in that lukewarm water. Then you stir, you stir. The lukewarm water has to be above surface into that mixture. So you mix it and stir it for about five minutes. Then you're done. So now that you're done, you enclose uh, that bucket, not with the lid of that bucket, no. You enclose it with a curtain, a brand new curtain, this way. So once you're done enclosing it with a curtain, on top of that curtain, preferably pull and close it, put on top your blanket, the blanket that you slept with. So now that you're done putting that underneath that 20 liter bucket, Especially if you have tiles, tiles are cold, you want that mixture to be in a warm place. So underneath you put another blanket uh, or you put a piece of clothing that will make, uh, that will make it warm underneath. Because now if you are not, if you didn't put anything underneath that bucket, that, uh, that bucket then that will experience cold, especially cold of the tiles. Tiles are very cold. So you slow down the progress. Uh, of the brewing. So now that you're done, you put that in a corner. That is where that that is where your mixture. That is where you're gonna be doing things uh, every day in that corner. So you're done. We go to stage two, which is day number two, the next day on a Wednesday afternoon. So now, what you do? Wednesday afternoon, uh, anytime, uh, even when you come back from work, it's not too late. Uh, if you if you get home around 7 at night or 8 p.m. at night, it's okay. You can start. So now, day number two, you again boil the water. Boil water in the stove, but in this time, you don't mix that water in the stove with cold water. You boil, you want that water to be boil, boiling. And boiling within the same pedigree or size as if you are making a puto um, or you are making a, a maize meal porridge or you are making a stiff pup in the same size. That water, it shouldn't be too much, it shouldn't be too little. Preferably a whole, uh, a, a whole kettle or half a kettle, uh, depending on the size. So now you use two pots. 
same amount of water you boiling so now you go into your mixture the mixture that you have covered so that mixture what you do you take out i can come a little bit closer uh, so you, you you take out tying the water that is on the surface i would say water in this case that water it, it's in the surface we call it omlumiso fermented form of african beer and you take it it has to be the size of a jug or half of a jug or even a cup but preferably more than a cup so you take that and put it aside that we're gonna use it on well that we're gonna use it later on omlumiso so now we're done taking omlumiso the fermented form of an african beer the water that is in the surface of that mixture so now we take that mixture and pour it in that stove in that boiling water on the stove not all of it preferably half and another half you pour it in the next pot now if you have one pot you are using good firstly do the first round the, the first half then once you're done pour in the second half so now what you do you so the minute you start pouring that mixture into that water somebody a third a second person must steer preferably you so somebody must assist you to pour then you stay you stay for five minutes good five minutes to ten minutes you stay then you take a break then you will stay for every ten minutes as if you are cooking guputo or as if you are cooking the stiff pack so every ten minutes you stay you stay for an hour and 15 minutes preferably some people will say an hour uh, and 30 minutes so we double it between an hour and 15 minutes and an hour and 30 minutes depending how slow is your and how fast is your stove so now once you're done you take that uh, you, you you take that mixture that porridge we call it the porridge you are cooking the african beer porridge is to do so uh, so once you're done cooking that African beer porridge, what you do now, you put it in different bowels, prefer preferably those aluminium bowels. But it can be a plastic bowel, it's fine, but we prefer those aluminium, uh, those aluminium uh, bowels. But if you do not have, you can use even buckets of this magnitude or 20 liters of buckets if you have and, uh, and, and other things. So the point is, you pour that African beer porridge in different bowels like four so that it can dry out quickly it can get cold quickly as possible so you put that mixture that porridge outside your house preferably in a veranda or just outside so that it can be cold very quickly so now every 30 minutes when it's outside you can stir it so even underneath uh, it can be cold as quickly as possible because you don't want it to be cold on the surface the, but underneath is still hot so every 30 minutes you you stir it so that it can be uh, cold as soon as possible so preferably you put it for i think half an hour to two hours or, or to two and a half hours until it's cold so once it's good once it's cold what you do you now you have the second one kg of king corn you take that second one kg of king corn, you, 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 you pour it in all those bowels on top of that porridge. You pour it there like you are pouring sugar uh, in amazement porridge. You pour, you pour, pour until that one kg of king corn is done. Then you mix it together. You mix it together in all the bowels. Then once you're done, you take those bowels and put them in that original bucket you have used to mix that one kg of king corn and maize meal yesterday so you pour all those porridges in that bag in, in those bowels into one bucket then you stay then you you take umlu miso that umlu miso that fermented form of of an african beer the one that you put it aside at the beginning remember in a jug or in a cup you take that umlumi, so that fermented form, you pour it in that bucket that has that porridge. Then you stir. 
you stare. That is designed to make that umlumis of fermented form. It is designed to make lamkom or that porridge to brew quickly to become the final version. So now that's day number two on a Wednesday. Uh, so now once you're done, again, put your curtain, brand new curtain, the one that you have used yesterday, uh, and, and close it, not with a lid, with this curtain. Then once you're done, put a blanket on top. It must be a warm blanket on top. So now that is Wednesday. So Thursday you don't do anything. You just check on the progress. Uh, then Friday afternoon, uh, you check if it is ready, it is boiling. And if it is boiling, you will see it. It will have uh, it will have something that is boiling in it. Uh, you will see how, how ready it is. So preferably then Saturday, Friday night around 9 in the evening or 10 uh, if it is ready. Or if it is not ready, you can do it the f first thing in the morning on a Saturday. Preferably, you're going to use this Mkombo tea Saturday midday. So now, once you're done checking that Mkombo tea, I'm going to do something now that you'll understand. Once you're done, uh, now, that is on a Friday. Uh, so you're done the Mkombo tea. The, the African beer is ready around, uh, around 9 p.m. Uh, so you take the, the bucket, a different bucket, an empty bucket. Uh, like the one that I've been using to display. You take that empty bucket and then you take a curtain uh, in this manner. So you put it, you put the packs here, 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 uh, you put the packs here. I'm gonna show you. So now the point is one. How do you notice that the, the African beer is ready? You will see it by by boiling things, little things that will be boiling uh, uh, on Friday night around eight or nine or ten p.m. And if you, and if you're not comfortable about those boiling things, leave it a little bit for early in the morning, Saturday. So now, let's assume Mkombo is ready. It's on a Friday. So what you do now? You take the uh, like, Okay, uh, you take, okay, give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay. So now what you do, you take a cup, a jack, preferably a jack, but I do not have a jack. So you take a jack, then you do this. Uh, give me a sec. You do this here. Can you come closer so that you can put it a little bit closer? Uh, so you do this, uh, you do this. So you, you stare so that Mkomboti can come right, then yeah, that's what you do. Then you take in the paezi and put it in an empty thing. You take in the paezi and put it and put them in an empty thing. That's what you do. Uh, yeah, come for me. Uh, so, uh, the bags, as bags is, they are designed so that in a very way, the curtain. So you continue to do this. Your shoes are you strain. If you have a strainer, you don't need a curtain. You don't need a curtain, but I do not have a strainer. I'm, I'm new in this place. I've just moved in recently. Uh, so, yeah. So this is what you do. This is what you do. This is how you strain uh, the mkombut. This is how you strain the mkombut. Uh, this is how you strain. So I think we get the gist of it. So you pour in, in an empty, you, you pour this, what you have done straining in an empty bucket. I will tell you later what you need to do. I'm just, I just need you to show you what now. When you strain it, when you strain it, when you strain it. Okay, <laughs> this is not wrong, but by the way, it's more water because I'm done drinking Mkombuti. I've done it with the vine. So it will be similar to this. So this is, yeah, it will be similar to this. Uh, so now you're done. What you do with this 
that we have used to strain. You're going to put in a jug of water here. Then you're going to close it uh, with a curtain and close it with a, a blanket. It's okay. So that it can boil again. This we call it Ivan. You can drink it the next day. You can strain it the next day and drink. And some people, they don't prefer to have a vanya. Then you don't need to pour, pour, to pour a jug in this. So now you have your ngombuti. Yeah, you have your ngombuti. So what you need to do next, uh, people will drink plum ngombuti. But before you, before you strain, the most important part I almost, I almost forgot. Before you strain, you take ngombuti out with, with something like this, we call it ink, uh, the clay pot. Uh, with something like this, it has to be full or half, but I would prefer it to be full. So this ongong water that is not stained here, this is for Amazos, this is for your guides, your ancestors. Without this ongong water that is not stained, your guides didn't drink your ongong water. Your guides didn't benefit in your African beer. The most crucial thing ever, I emphasize the most crucial thing ever, it is this ongombo that you will pour from here to here, the one that is not strained before you start straining. So now you have this ongombo that is not strained. What you need to do then, you will have, okay, let me for the sake of transparency. So you, you have this. You have this for your guys, you have this for your guys, you have this for your guys. It has to be red whiskey or red brandy, it has to be a gin or a vodka. So these are for your guys and there has to be a sniff, and there has to be a BB and boxer tobacco, there has to be cigarette, there has to be Sweets, the XXX sweets, the ones you get them from checkers or shop right for about 10 rand. So once you have all these, then you go where you pasha, where you pray, and pour that, this umkombot that is not strained, and talk to your guides and say, I need, this is your umkombot that I've made for you guys. Uh, I need, I want uh, blessings, etc. I want a job, I want money, I want my business to flourish. Or I, uh, yeah, that's what you do in initial. You pour them on the floor where you partial the sunkombot. Some people, they want to leave it overnight for ancestors where they partial. But you don't drink this. This is for your guides. You can never drink sunkombot that is not stained. It's not for you. It's for your guides. That is why it's not stained to begin with. So once you're done pouring the Ongkombut, some people who live in a flat and they do not have a space, they can go to the river, they can go to the beach, they can go to an anthill and talk to their guides and say, we have brought Ongkombut for you guys and this is it. So why do you pouring that Ongkombut? You're talking. You're talking that I want money, I want a job, I want this A, B, C, D. You know what you want, the blessings. So now you're done pouring it. The second part, you pour a tot, just a little bit, in this brand, you pour it. This is for your guides. This is more preserved for the males and sister. This is pre preserved more for the female and sister. Once you're done pouring this, you pour this for the female and sisters and say, here is your gene. I want A, B, C, D. I want blessings and I want to thank you for your protection over the years, etc., etc. And, 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 so you don't pour something, you pour something of the size Something of the size, not a lot, not a lot, something of the size. Uh, so you're done now pouring this. You must have a juice as well. I almost forgot. You pour that juice. And the main reason for the juice, not all ancestors drink. Some, they drink juice. So you pour a juice, a cup of juice there. You pour it and say, for the ancestors that are not drinking, here are not drinkers, here is your juice. Then once you're done, you, you take out the snake. So those who smoke a snake. Uh, then once you're done, for all for those who smoke uh, BB boxer and cigarette, and that and the sweets is for the ancestors that died young, the ones that you miscarriage, the ones that died through abortion, the ones that died uh, they were still young babies. 
So you pour in those sweets and say it's for the ancestors of a young blah blah blah. You have catered for everybody. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that we call it to Pasha praying. So, but going back to my point. So after you've taken out this umkombo that is not strained, then you can continue to strain the way that I've shown you. Then people can drink at one or twelve midday. You can invite three or four people. And you can do it in your flat. You don't have to go to Eastern Cape or go to your rural areas or your villages. You can do it in your flat. So now, Mkombo is done. People have, are, are done drinking. It's late at night. And you thought, let me not have a vanya or let, or let me not save Mkombo for, for drinking tomorrow. So what you do, all this in Zipa, the things that you were straining, all of them, you throw them around your yard so that there can be a smell of Mkombo throughout the yard. While you throw them, you talk that I want A, B, C, D. So that is the making of the African beer. That is the making of Mkombo. Uh, and remember, you can do Mkombo in your flat. You can invite five or six of your friends. You don't need to, uh, to fly your parents in the villages. Uh, you can inform them. But because of their old school, they will think that the only way you can do Mkombo is to go back home. But you can do Mkombo for as little as 500 grand. This bottle, this bottle, those one kgs. So in essence, you need two kgs of, of king corn, one kg of maize meal. My name is and thanks for everybody who has been watching this. Please don't forget, subscribe to the channel and also follow me on Twitter at GaiJenyM. And those of you who are interested in viewing my website, you can do so at GaiJenyHapalShop.com. Uh, Till next time.